guys. So um, it's 7, 28, 23. And at 4.10 this morning, I got um, things about the angels and righteousness. So there's four categories. Uh, the four are the angels of the Lord, for mine who pray, truth of righteousness soon revealed, my righteous and faithful. And this one um, has verses attached to each section. So number one, prayerfully obedient. Psalm 103, 20. Bless the Lord, you, his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. To those who obey, those who obey and pray will have the angels of the Lord. My mighty angels are real. They are throughout the Bible. I have a myriad of angels. Those who pray the way I have reminded, those who pray their boundaries and loose angels on their behalf will have teams of my mighty angels. You will not see them, but they will be there. Some will stand to defend. Others will fight on your behalf. Some will perform acts of miracles, works on your behalf. My mighty angels are marvelous. They can stay invisible to your eyes or they can manifest in a way to barely be seen or they can be fully seen in their original form or transform into looking like a man. My angels are peaceful and their presence brings peace and calm to mine. Angels only execute my wishes. For my faithful ones who trust me and pray as I have directed, I send angels to protect and provide. Never worship an angel, but do be thankful toward them. If they manifest to you, it is because I have instructed them to do so. Hear and obey their every directive. Number two, for mine who pray. Psalm 34, 7, the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. In the months to come, for mine who pray, understand that no peril shall befall you because of my protections through my angels. They can keep your power on. They can provide food to eat. They can sweep you out of harm's way. They can make a boundary of protection that cannot be crossed. Understand that no power of darkness or evil or even Satan himself can supersede the powers of my angels. Understand that a fight may be intense for them. The more you pray, the more power and support they have at their access. If you lack provisions or you are being attacked, consider these things. First, you could be under prayed. Pray more. Number two, you may not have your full spiritual armor on. Correct this. Number three, you may be praying so effectively that a higher level of demon dominion or authority has been sent to attack you and the fight is real for the angels. These fights can take days, weeks, or months to complete. But rest assured, the angels will always prevail. The solutions to help expedite the attacks and empower your team of angels are to pray properly in praying your boundaries, binding the demons, and loosing your angels in their full power and authority to not only defend and protect you, also to take who attacks you to the pit and off the battlefield and to enlist more people to pray alongside of you in person or divided by space where two or three are gathered, I am in the midst and power is increased. Recall there is strong power in prayer that the prayers of the righteous avail much. What does this mean? This means you need to be free from sin and striving towards righteousness for your prayers to be effective. So a saved and sanctified person who takes regular communion, who stays clear of willful carnal sins, their prayers are very powerful. What if you are not sin free? Repent, stop sinning. Will your prayers be heard if you are walking in sin? If you are saved, your prayers are always heard, but they are lacking in the full power they could have if you have harbored sins. Daily examine yourself against the scriptures and against the words of my son. 
Jesus, the one and only Messiah. You, in human form, will not attain perfection or complete Christ-likeness, but your aim at trying to live correctly and in righteousness and willfully avoiding the pursuit of carnality keep you in righteousness, and this keeps your prayers strong. When you pray to stop any carnal habits or pursuits you have, I will honor these honest and earnest prayers to cease and send help. I understand in your human lives that slip-ups will occur. This is overlooked for my own because they have my son's blood to cover them. But I do not overlook consistent, willful departures from direct instructions. Willful unrighteousness is not tolerated. Stop and ask forgiveness. In sincerity, take the elements of communion to remember my son's death, burial, and resurrection and the cost he paid for your sins and ask forgiveness. Then move forward cleansed and righteous. Following this, pray for others, for protections and provisions, and for your fight in the war in the spiritual realm with a pure heart. Move forward living right. In this righteousness, my mighty angels can release their full power on your behalf. Also know that your protections will be afforded to those with you. If you pray for the boundaries of your property, those living with you while on the property will have the same protections and provisions you have. However, you will need to pray specifically and consistently many times a day for the unrighteous around you, that they be released from their bondage to sin and that their ears are open to understand the truth when the time comes. These prayers help keep them in my protection when they are away from you. The fight for their very soul creates a different type of fight that can only have a temporary release from the evil one's grip. Some wonder if I hear the unsaved. I hear everything. But unless the unsaved come to me with a repentant heart and are seeking salvation and are asking to leave the control of the evil one or wicked ones, I do not honor their prayers. I hear my own. I hear the righteous. They are mine and I am theirs. I care for my own. Number three, truth of righteousness soon revealed. First Peter four seventeen. for the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Matthew five sixteen. let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven. As a child of God who is in obedience, you have full access to my full power and my mighty angels. With these two gifts that I provide, you cannot fail. You must recall to employ them. You must set aside self and bring your humility and I will replace it with bold confidence. The days are almost spent. The truth of who is righteous and who has true faith is almost to be revealed. Those who obey will have my mighty miracles and bring many to me in the coming weeks. My Holy Spirit's full power will fall in obvious ways and it will reveal the state of the heart. Only those with true faith walking in obedience will have my full provisions and power. If you do not receive my obvious power, you will have two choices. You can repent and get in line with what my word says and be blessed. Or you can be embittered and jealous and grow in the powers of evil and become a rebel. This includes being left behind for the great tribulation. I judge and sort the church first. I know hearts, no matter what it looks like to others. Get right with me now. Time is up. The evidence of who has kept their heart pure and obedient is about to be revealed to the whole world. The wise will shine with my Holy Spirit. The foolish will taste what it is like to be without my protections. Church, awaken. The time is now. Those with the angels of the Lord will be known. No harm will befall my obedient. Pray. Number four, my righteous and faithful. 
Psalm 91.11, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Acts 26.18, To open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Those who obey and pray are consistently pure of heart. You please me. So very many of you that hear my words and obey, that read my words and obey, that love me and my son with your full heart, you have nothing to be concerned with. You have had my mighty angel protections and you will continue to have them. Keep fighting in prayer. My mighty angels are holy. They function best in the presence of those who are holy. They sing my praises night and day. So they feel at home with a person and a home that has my praises being sung night and day. Continue in your pursuit of holiness. Continue in striving for Christ's likeness. My holy angels will continue to joyfully serve, to protect and provide. When the Holy Spirit's full power soon falls on the earth to my anointed, and then following this, my obedient faithful will acquire their fulfilling of my holy power. Understand this happens successively and not at once. So do not envy, only fully trust. I am a God of order and I test hearts. The anointed will be filled and shine before the world. Then the obedient faithful will follow. As each group is exhibiting my holiness to the world, fleets of angels will surround these people. As soon as they are fully filled, nothing will be able to harm them. The holy power that emits from them will actually strengthen their angels and make them function in my full power and authority about them. A person's holiness does affect my angels. This is why I say be righteous in actions and stay clear from carnality. This is also why only the righteous will shine forth with my miracles and represent me to the world. Hearts will be revealed. I am so pleased with my little children that are already in full practice of obedience and righteousness. Prepare your hearts in regular communion in taking of the elements to prepare to be with me or to be in service to me as a leader of my end times harvest. My righteous are my jewels. You sparkle your joy about the world and I can see your light shining from heaven. Like a lighthouse in a storm, your love and your joy radiate in the darkness. Recall that until now, the darkness has seen you and has heard you, but they have not understood you because you speak my language, the language of holiness. But the very prayers that you have been sending forth multiple times a day are breaking their bonds and they will have opportunity to hear you speak my words and have the opportunity to understand. Some will hear or see another anointed or faithful shine my words forth and they will understand for the first time. Continue to pray for your loved ones, friends, and family. The darkness is about to finally see the light and have the true opportunity to make a choice for me or to stay in darkness. Most will choose me because until now they have been shackled into darkness. But the power of your righteous prayers is preparing their hearts. Never relent in praying. My great joy is that I know you will faithfully do this. You are mine and I am yours and we are soon to be together. Some in a few days and some after the harvest of the prodigals and halfborns come in. I long to see you and all whom you have affected for me, all coming to heaven in your pure white robes. 
My righteous are to be celebrated. Those who quietly disciplined yourselves without praise, no one watching but me, to read, pray, worship, and grow, disciplining yourselves to put off the old man and grow into Christ's likeness, willfully choosing my will over your own, carefully aware that my wisdom supersedes your own, so humbly asking for my direction and leading. You are my great joy. You are my righteous. You and your prayers are going to change the world. I send my strong team of angels on your behalf as a reward for your faithfulness. Have no fears, no matter what your eyes see. Trust and remember that you have teams of my mighty angels that work under my direct command on your behalf. Pray and be ready to be used. Pray and be ready to see miracles beyond anything written in the Bible thus far. Pray and trust that when you are in my service, that you have nothing to fear. Be blessed. Evidence of my power in your life is about to be revealed to the world. Recall that you must share with others who marvel that my powers, protections, and provisions are for those with true faith in the one true God, the Father of Jesus, the one true Messiah, be my witness. It begins. And then I was told to read you Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commandments. For the length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects. Just as a father, the son in whom he delights. Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Length of days is in her right hand, in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are the ways of pleasantness and all of her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her and happy are all who retain her the lord by wisdom founded the earth by understanding he established the heavens by his knowledge the depths were broken up and clouds dropped down the dew my son let them not depart from your eyes keep sound wisdom and discretion so they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck then you will walk safely in your way and your foot will not stumble when you lie down you will not be afraid yes you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet do not be afraid of sudden terror nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes for the lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it to you when you have it with you. Do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Do not strive with a man without cause if he has done you no harm. Do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the perverse person is an abomination to the Lord, 
but his secret counsel is with the upright. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the just. Surely he scorns the scornful, but he gives grace to the humble. The wise shall inherit the glory, but the shame shall be the legacy of fools. So I hope today's um, words have encouraged you and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.